Hey everybody, welcome back, welcome back to my channel, and Happy New Year to all of you. Um, my last video that I did um, was just before Christmas time, and I had sort of a Santa Claus theme going on, and I was um, consuming uh, accessible amounts of tequila, which would probably be deemed as extremely medically unsafe, but I'm here. I survived it. <laughs> Don't know how I survived it, but I did. Uh, for those of you who uh, who did see that video, that was my last video that I did on my channel. And by the way, thank you very much for the um, the subscribers. I don't have too many subscribers, um, but thank you very much to the ones who have subscribed to my channel. I really, really do, um, really, really do appreciate it. You guys have no idea actually how much I do appreciate that. So this is going to be another record player video. Um, here I have a uh, vintage vintage looking it's vintage looking but it's actually quite modern it's a Victrola did you guys hear that Victrola there's so there's a there's a word that our grandparents possibly great-grandparents if they're still around I don't know about you guys my great-grandparents died in the 1970s um, but Victrola is a very very old name Okay, and what Victrola has attempted to do here is they've attempted to, and they actually did not a bad job, and I'm going to get into that a little bit more. I'm going to try to make this video short and sweet, but I just want to give it, you know, a good intro if I can. Um, this is the new, as far as I know, it's the latest model. I just picked it up a couple days ago from my local Walmart. Um, this was this cost uh, $148 plus tax um, after tax it came to $168 and change and I wanted to do and I, I apologize to you guys I actually wanted to do an unboxing video um, for this record player but I didn't at the time because I just I was sort of in a rush that day I had things that I needed to do and things I wanted to accomplish but anyway here it is this is the record player. Now, I just I just want to say overall, my overall impression, my first impression out of the box um, was good. And I'm going to tell you guys why. Um, you guys have seen my previous video on a cheaper turntable. I did I did a video on the uh, the Ion Photon LP turntable. And actually, I want to thank you guys for that because that video is the only one so far on my channel that had the most hits and when I say hits it had the most views that video had more views than what I than what I expected it to actually so thank you guys again for that thank you very much um, so my overall first impression with this turntable out of the box and I've only like I said I've only had it a couple days I've played it a couple times here uh, at home my overall impression was good and here's why um, it's actually if you look at it all the way around, hold on, I'm going to try and bring in the camera a bit closer so that you guys can see the front of it, what it looks like a little bit closer. So, um, I don't know if you can see that there. I don't have the greatest camera, but basically, you know, they, they've made it to look very, very vintage-like. It's got this dial on the front here, which is very um, reminiscent of a, of a, you know, 1930s, 40s, 50s. Um, radio and then there's on this side there's the volume dial and this side here you can adjust whether you want your phono or your AM AM FM radio and that's pretty much all this is you're gonna get there's the turntable underneath which I'm going to show you in a sec there's your radio here in the front there's your selections there's your volume power on power off there's a main power switch on the back and you just flip that on and off but really that's it and I'm gonna pan up a little bit so that you can see the wood the wood grain on it and it's actually it's not of bad quality you know it's um like to touch it it's not plastic um, to lift it it's it's got some weight to it like it's it's not really cheap in the sense that it's flimsy cheap recycled plastic this is actually this is real wood like you can use wood polish and polish it up and make it look nice and shiny um so yeah where was where am i 
there I am. <laughs> um, so yeah, overall it was not bad. There was a little bit of um, defect that I noticed right out of the box on the plastic right here. If you look on the gold, gold, now mind you, to touch this, it's just cheap plastic. And that's really, as far as the, the build quality and the construction, that's really going to be my biggest complaint is this cheap plastic here. But, I mean, for $150, in, I mean, what do you want, really? So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to open up the um, the top here. And on the inside, I'm going to... Uh, anyway, I'm going to set that there. And then I'm going to bring the camera over here, and I'm going to show you guys the inside. Um, the inside of it, as you can see there, it says Victrola very proudly says Victrola and this is the inside this is the turntable now one thing that I wanted to say that I was actually impressed with was that it's actually a full size it's a full size platter if you look at it and a lot of times on these cheaper turntables they tend to put these half-assed teeny tiny little platters that don't even really support an LP record the toner arm, although it does not have anti-skate and um, uh, it doesn't have a counterweight or anti-skate or anything like that, the toner arm actually does have some metal construction to it. And as you can see, the inside of it is also, it's also hard wood. Um, the hinges, the latch over here, I'm sort of blocking it, but the hinge here, it's made of metal. It seems to be very solid. The hinges back here are made of metal. It's a really, it's it's a, it's a pretty solid design, and I was actually really impressed with that. Um, another thing that I was impressed with, I'm gonna bring you back to me here. <clears throat> another thing that I was impressed with, um, in comparison to other uh, cheaper budget turntables like this one um, that I've bought, I find, and you guys who are turntable enthusiasts and anybody who knows anything about turntables and vinyl records or anything every, all, all you guys know that these cheaper things like Crossley and I mentioned Crossley before you guys know how I feel about Crossley don't even get me started on Crossley uh, they, they tend to um, provide you with this really really cheap stylus you can't even call it a stylus it's it's all plastic construction and it's not a diamond tip by any means it just looks like a piece of glass and it's actually sapphire and that damages your records they're horrible and why they make these things not this one specifically um but crossley ion and other budget turntables they give you this piece of crap half-assed stylus that damages your records and they really don't last that long either. And after a while, they just start to sound horrible. And on top of that, they're doing damage to your records. So with this one, I was prepared because I had a package that I ordered. Um, I got from Amazon and they're just basically like, like upgraded stylus and you can um, pop it off. The original one that's on here, you can pop it off and you can put one on that's actually a diamond tip. And if you look carefully, I don't know if you can see it, but if you look at the uh, the tip of it, normally it would be red, which is the stylus. And I automatically, the very first thing I did before I even used this was I took the original needle off of it and I upgraded it to a diamond tip stylus. And it's sort of like a light gold thing. You can see it there on the tip of the toner arm. And that helps improve the sound quality. And it also helps prolong the life of your records. It's always better to play with the diamond tip stylus. But here's the thing, get this. To my surprise, when I took the original, when I took the original stylus off of this record player that it came with when I got it, I was surprised because it did have this red body and I'm gonna show you guys, but normally, normally they give you a sapphire tip. They don't give you a diamond tip needle and the cantilever, the entire construction is all made of plastic. But on this one, this one, they actually gave you a diamond tip stylus. And the cantilever is not made of plastic, it's made of metal. So this actually came with a half decent needle. 
really. There was really no need to change it. I changed it automatically before I even looked at this one because I figured, oh, it's going to be a piece of crap because they always are on these things. But with this one, they actually gave you a half decent needle. And I'm going to try and bring this closer to the camera so that you can see. See the cantilever? It's actually made of metal. The housing itself is plastic, which is going to be, you know, that's to be expected. But where you see that metal cantilever, usually on these, and if you tilt it sideways, I don't know if you can see that. If you tilt it sideways, you can see there's a little bit of a dark tip. See how the tip is a little bit dark? So that is a sure sign that this is, in fact, a diamond tip stylus that came with this model and i was i don't know about you guys but i was actually really shocked about that i was really really surprised so i i took it off i still have it and i keep it there on the inside in case something happens and i break this one over time you have to change the styly the, the stylus anyway that's common um so yeah so that's another thing that i was impressed with i was actually really impressed with that when I saw the stylus that they put on it. So we're going to speed things up a little bit. Um, overall, I'm going to say, other than this kind of cheap plastic in the front here, overall, I'm actually quite impressed with it. I have a record I'm going to play. It's actually uh, Michael Jackson, Billie Jean, and I have it on a 45 rather than take out an LP or whatever, like an album, because I'm not going to play a whole album. So um, just to give you guys a little bit of an idea, of the sound quality I'm gonna put on a record and I'm gonna play it for you um, to turn it on just there's the on and off switch on the back so I've already switched that on um, but it's still not on even though I turned on the on switch you actually have to turn the dial forward and then it lights up did you catch that here when you turn it on it lights up which is sort of cool you know um, gives it that old that old school uh, feel so I'm going to put on a record, and I'm going to let you guys get a little um, idea of the sound. And I'm going to adjust here that it's on a 45. So, here we go. Hold on. I'm actually going to have to stand for this, because I can't really see it too well. All right. So, just going to play the record here. All right. And the sound quality is not too shabby. Like it's only, it's turned up almost halfway. Not too bad. I mean, I've, I've had other um, smaller portable models that have had far worse sound quality than this. So I'm just going to show you how it looks when it's playing. down a little bit because uh, copyright issues I probably probably don't even have the right to play this song I got in some trouble from Warner Brothers actually um, about a year or so ago I played some Led Zeppelin Led Zeppelin music on my channel and they contacted me and they you know so anyway um, overall so my overall impression my overall rating do I recommend that's gonna be the question of the day do I recommend this for what it is for a fairly cheap model, um, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes, that I do recommend it, actually. Um, so far, it seems to be um, seems to be decent and doesn't sound too bad either. All right. That was the video. I hope this was helpful for you guys, and um, I'm glad you stopped by. And once again, like, share, subscribe if you liked the video, if you found it informative. 
um, any, you know, criticism, whatever. I'm always open to criticism. I'm always open to compliments. Um, so whatever, just compliment in the section below or say whatever you got to say. Um, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you on my next video, okay? Take care, everybody. Have a great day.